right, next up on something juicy. I know y'all are waiting for me to talk about it. There are two astronauts currently stuck in space, y'all. Now, these two astronauts who have been stuck in space for 80 days, they were only 80 days, bro. 80 days in space? They were only supposed to have an eight-day trip. And now they are stuck in space. And the crazy part is, is they are not supposed to return to Earth until February 2025. Damn. So let's get into it, right? So Barry, Butch E. Wilmore, and Sonny Lynn Williams, who have been stuck in space over 80 days after embarking on what was supposed to be about an eight-day trip, they're going to have to wait until around February of 2025 or March of 2025 about eight months after their initial departure. So on Saturday, NASA announced during a news conference that it would use Elon Musk's SpaceX Dragon. Have you heard of that? The SpaceX Dragon capsule? That's something you would know. No, it just sounds like something that I'm not supposed to try. (laughs) They're going to try to bring the two astronauts who have been trapped in space for nearly three months uh, back here. Now... Apparently the they don't the agency does not have enough confidence in getting the duo home in their troubled Boeing Starliner capsule, which launched on June 5th and was due to come back on June 14th. Now apparently, and I did a little bit more digging on this, like what was going on. So the in June the crew tested the Boeing's new Starliner, and it suffered helium leaks and thruster failures before it docked, which is raising questions over how safe it is for the return flight. Because apparently the leaks and the thruster failures and stuff like that might not be safe for them to come back down to Earth. And then there's another issue once they actually do send this, the Elon Musk SpaceX thing up there. So... They currently have gear that is compatible with the Starliner and not the Dragon that is coming to rescue them. So they're going to need new spacesuits. Why don't I believe So how in the heck are they supposed to change their spacesuits, bro? <laughs> why, why does it just, just sound so unbelievable? Like, this sounds like something out of a movie, okay? Bro, I mean, it seems like... Something year, always going on. Year after year, America hits us with a new plot twist. Right. You know, what last year... What is the year, distraction? Right. Last year was the submarine. <laughs> this year, it's two astronauts. Not just in space. Yes. You know, just out there floating around. Literally. You know how upset I'd be? You know, it's just like, because I wanted to actually know if either one of these uh, passengers were married, and they both are. Yeah, but not I, to each other. Yeah, you know, not to each other either. They both have separate relationships. But I'll tell you this. Uh-oh. At the end of this nine months... It's going to be another. It's going to be a baby born in space. Oh. Okay. They got a whole nine months to, to wait to actually see just if, if they'll be able to come down. That, they're they're going to start love making eventually. Bro, that would be legendary. Like, hey, what the if baby the baby. Space. Yes. <laughs> like, the first space baby. How does that work? <laughs> like, how the baby just. Dang, that baby might come out crazy if something were that. Like, you have your baby in space. There's no gravity. Well, you know. It's man, probably not a lot of air. I don't want to go down too far down the rabbit hole. But it, it's, <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. And then ultimately, <laughs> like, come on now, Truth Nation. If, we being true, if we're being totally honest with ourselves right now, I personally have not seen a live stream video from these uh, two yet. Okay, I saw one. You saw one? That was when? early in the summer, though. See, that's what I'm talking about. Because Since then, I have not. If y'all don't know, this all this all happened June 5th, the day before my birthday. They went up there into space. All right? And it was only, like you said, just they was only supposed to be up there for eight days. They've been up there for 80 days. Bro. They are losing oxygen each and every day. All right? If they don't fall in love together, one person's going to kill the next person. Okay? I don't that's know, man. That's what's going to happen. Uh, you, you know, what would you do for oxygen? I mean, well, if, if not that, if they don't have enough food, I eat did. Each other. I did. I did read up on it though, and people were answering some questions right here where they said, "Do do 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 do." What's do. Up with that space food? But they. Oh, they said, do they have enough supplies for another six months? So the question was, is there enough food, water, and oxygen? This um, news.sky.com, they did an article breaking down, like, if they're okay or not. And they said, yes, there are reserve supplies up there to keep astronauts going for plenty of time. I don't believe it. The space station has its own oxygen generating systems, and about 50% of oxygen exhaled from carbon dioxide is recovered. I don't believe it. Like, wait, listen to this, though. As for water, the station has a urine into drinking water recycling system, and a part of that system also captures moisture released into the cabin air from the crew's breath and sweat. 
I wonder what that water tastes like. Bro, possibly <laughs> trash. We, we over here talking about Milwaukee lead, lead ladder. <laughs> they got to pee in order to drink. For real. <laughs> I mean, they got to recycle the pee first. They got to recycle the pee. They got to recycle their own sweat. Bro. They got to re- recycle their own breath just to get some out of some water. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do. What happens in space stays in space. I guess so. That's right. a story that they definitely probably not going to be able to tell. Because I know they up there about, about thinking of doing some crazy stuff to each other. I'm just telling you that right now. I mean, it's either life or death. You know, that's that's what it comes down to. If you get stuck and stranded in space, man, I mean, only other people who can help come help you out in the nick of time would be some aliens, you know. <laughs> I, I would just say, man, make certain that y'all keeping your eyes glued to that window, okay? Because if I see anything coming towards my way, oh, my God, I uh, could only imagine. I would never go up to space like that. That's crazy. It's I, like I, air I w- skydiving for me. No thanks. I'll wait until it's, like, really, truly commercial. I'll, I'll do the commercial flights. Like, oh, we can really go to mm-hmm. Mars now for real? Let the first... 100,000 people go. Yeah. And then, and then I'll, I'll pop Then that was a different conversation. Yeah, yeah I'll buy my ticket then. But uh, y'all got to be the crash test dummies first because y'all want to be like these two people. All um, right. 